Now I can dump it on you, or I can dump it on you. Oh! Wha what? No, 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 no! No! What's going on? Cindy, come back here! Whoops! What's up guys and welcome back to Kindergarten! And for today's episode, we're gonna begin the hunt for Monster Mon cards. Now I'm not totally sure if we're gonna be able to find all of them, because it turns out many of them are more complicated than I had imagined. Like, I figured they were just scattered across the map. We've seen a bunch of them before, it would just be a matter of finding them and picking them up. But it turns out a lot of them involve kind of side quests with the students and the staff and stuff like that, so don't think that you've seen everything the Kindergarten has to offer yet. Now it's been a long time since I've started this series, so I can't really remember which cards we've gotten and which ones I've picked up and died trying to get out. So we're just gonna pretend like I haven't gotten any of them before, and we're gonna start off by buying a screwdriver, because we've definitely seen one in the air vent in the hallway a lot. I don't think I've ever managed to get it, so we're just gonna grab this for a dollar. That's a good deal. And uh, maybe we should get cigarettes as well? I think that's a good idea. I'm pretty sure there was a card in with the finger, and if I can manage to get into the bathroom, I don't want to get sent to the principal and shot in the head. So a dollar for not getting shot in the head is a pretty good deal. Then we're gonna go talk to Cindy, because apparently there are two or maybe three cards that we can get out of her story if we just kind of deviate a little bit. There are kind of some alternate endings, which is cool. So we're gonna be her boyfriend. We're going to agree to put gum in Lily's hair. And then we're gonna go be Nugget's friend. No, we're not gonna be Nugget's friend. Actually, I wanna get sent to the principal to get a pill because I wanted to distract the teacher. So we're just gonna talk about Billy and uh, make him take his pill and send us to the principal again. I am super allergic to bullets. Please do not shoot me. My parents would be incredibly upset. I'm not interested in that rug at all. Oh wait, isn't there a card in here, right? There's some papers and a Monster Mon card in here. Okay, there we go, we found one. I don't know why he's not upset at me taking that card, but so uh, we got, it doesn't tell me what it is. I I'll learn once we get back home. There we go, okay. Did I lose an apple that I needed? I don't think so. The thing about this is we're gonna be restarting a lot because the objective is to get as many cards out as you can. And then I could just restart if I need to. So if even if we just get a couple, then it might just end the day rather than get killed. Uh, he gave me some pills and um, I think I'll get you to pay me a dollar for one, right? That's a pretty good deal. There we go, so now we have two dollars in case we need to buy anything else. And she's good and distracted, which means I can probably grab this card now, right? Don't go snooping around, uh, you know what? I don't really care, do what you want. <laughs> so what is this? This is Cindy's cubby, there's a Monster Mon card in here. Okay, we got two. Now if I put the gum in your hair, You'll be upset, as you would, and then we've proven ourselves to Cindy. <laughs> did you do it? Oh my gosh, you totally did. Wow, what happened? What did she say? Did she cry? I bet she cried. I'm just wondering if she's gonna realize I just stole from her or not. She cried. Yes, I'm so happy. Now you could be my morning buddy, which also makes you my boyfriend. As my boyfriend, you get the honor of playing house with me. I'll meet you over at the dollhouse. Okay, so we have two apples. Hopefully that's enough to play doll. Is there one hiding? A lot of the stuff is you just kind of walk behind stuff and click and, uh, and you'll just find a card lying there. But it looks like there's nothing there. Okay, we're gonna play doll. She's gonna be crazy and then we're gonna go to lunch. This is kind of interesting. We've never done this before. I can actually sell the breathalyzer that she gives me when we're playing house. Uh-oh, somebody's a drinker. Who is it? Mom? Dad? Doesn't matter. I can't think of too many buyers for it. Best I can do is 225. That's pretty good. Okay, pleasure doing business with you. Um, can I sell something else? A bottle of pills? I don't think I could do that. I need an apple, don't I? Yeah, we don't have any apples. We have farting apples. So maybe we'll sell the pills at lunch because I do think that Monty has a $12 card at the end of the day, right? I got 425 right now, so we're not doing too bad. Okay, nothing else right now. Lunch time. And uh, then hopefully we should be able to go to the finals. Uh, no, I'm not gonna be able to go to the final day and get that card just yet. I think we're gonna have to finish off stuff with Cindy. Hey, crazy lunch lady, can I have some human slop? How you doing there, Sonny? Want some tasty, nutritious slop for lunch? Yes, please. 
I know what's in it. <laughs> there you go, buddy boy, and don't be shy about coming back for seconds. Plenty of slop to go around. Thanks. Okay, Cindy, I have food. You can talk to me now. Oh, hey, boyfriend, I saved you a spot. Go get something to eat and come sit with me. I have slop. Oh, no, I have to eat it to sit with her. Oh, it's just not the same when you know. Oh, good, I was just thinking about, oh, darn it, my stupid mother packed me something that's not vegan. She knows I'm all vegan right now. God, that woman is insufferable. Okay, we're gonna get you a salad, calm down. She's filled up on salad. She's gonna go pay off the lunch lady so that we can go and get the gross stuff from the janitor's closet. Now, we don't necessarily need to do that, right? I have two apples. If I get this card, I'm dead, right? Because then I use my last apple in here. Uh, we can unlock it. So what was in here exactly? There was stolen stuff, which we can't reach. There's the bucket of blood, which I don't necessarily want to get. And then there's a note, a monster monk card, and a $5 bill. So maybe we should get this monster monk card. And then another time we could get into the hallway. I think it's easier to get into the hallway than this room. So we're gonna take the card. I can't take anything else because I'll die unless I can go out here and then I'm a genius. Yes, unscrew the vent. Whoa, whoa. Come on, dude, it's right there. I have cigarettes, ah, damn it. People were telling me that there's a card back here somewhere. There's a monster wrong card lying on the ground here. Okay, we'll pick that up. So now we're up to four cards. We're doing good. Okay, so I didn't get the gross thing. Um, I think I might have screwed up. I probably shouldn't have gotten that card. For Cindy's quest, I think I needed to get something else in there, didn't I? Well, what did you get? Uh, I didn't get anything. Nothing? You didn't grab anything? What the hell are you even good for? I hope you die, we're through. Yeah, so no alternate ending for her right now, which is a shame. Okay, I do think that I can get a card out of these ducks though. What do you have to say, Jerome? Don't bother me, kid. I'm trying to figure this out. Figure what out? It's this riddle about these stupid duck things. Apparently, if you shake them in the right order, something is supposed to happen. What's the riddle? Go twice the duck that's furthest south, then two blue before red. After, return to the first duck, then blue. Get it wrong and you're dead. Okay. I'm pretty sure if I get this wrong, I'm gonna explode. So let's take a second, uh, two to the south. So it's gonna be yellow, yellow, blue, blue, red, return to the first duck and then blue. So yellow, yellow, blue, blue, red, yellow, blue, right? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. So it's yellow. <laughs> Don't know why they make noises. Blue, blue. That's my favorite one. I want to quack him again, but I can't. Hello? Blue? Yeah! Solving the riddle seems to have caused a monster mon card to appear. Pick it up. Oh, we got like the duck card. Sweet. So that's gonna be it for day one. I didn't get to the end of Cindy's story like I wanted to, but we did get five cards. Two of which I may have already gotten before. Are you kidding me? This one is a little dark. I double check the hints and it looks like I can actually get a card from Cindy while playing house. And I have no idea how because I've always used the exact same options every time. So this time, rather than telling her we want to keep the baby, what if we say we want to abort it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I don't know exactly how to do it. I think there's a pill you can take. I have a pill. Perfect, gulp, wow. Who knew abortion would feel so nice? Not even an abortion, just who knew abortion would feel so nice? You're the best boyfriend ever. I think you've earned a special treat. It's a card. You can have this Monster Monk card since you went the extra mile here and actually had an abortion pill. Wow, we should totally have lunch together. I'll see you in the cafeteria. Okay, we made our way back to the janitor's closet. Once again, I only have two apples, so I can only do one thing without dying. I can get the bucket, or I can get something in this box, being a note, a monster mon card, or a $5 bill. Now, I'm pretty sure the $5 bill is gonna help us get the card at the end of the game, right? Because I have 875, and I think Monty wanted $12, so we could do that. 
We could take the card. I think I've already done that, right? I did that just then. That's one of the cards I already had. Don't need it a third time. But there's also a note. So what does the note say? I'll take the note, but I can't read it because I'm in kindergarten. Oh, bummer. Okay, so I think we need to take that to Cindy. She wanted me to find something in the janitor's closet. I didn't find a bucket, but I did find a note. This piece of paper is all I have. A stupid note? We can't even read. You better find someone who can read this, who won't get us in trouble, and it better be worth it. Okay, I'll find someone. And don't you dare show it to the teacher. We'll get in trouble if you do that. Fine. Okay. So I probably don't want to show it to the teacher, right? Monty can read and Nugget can read. I don't really trust Nugget to read. So this is probably just going to cost me a dollar or something like that. What can I do for you? Can you read this note? Psh, of course I can. I'm not some Neanderthal like bugs. I can read anything for a buck. See, I know Monty's prices down pat. I've played this enough. All right. Let's see here. Um, it seems to be a recipe of some sort. Oh, this is the janitor's recipe for those gross looking biscuit ball things. He, oh God, what? He, he's using biscuit. He's actually using Cindy's missing dog as an ingredient. Oh, that is just so messed up. I hope no one has ever eaten one. That'd be gross. Uh, yeah, it would. Okay. So do we, Tell Cindy? She gonna kill me? No, I clearly need to tell her, right? Why else would I know this information? Did you find out what that stupid note said? It's a recipe for the janitor's biscuit balls. It's just a stupid recipe? I can't believe I went to all the trouble of stealing the key to the janitor's closet just so that you could steal a dumb recipe. Your dog's an ingredient. What? Your dog is an ingredient. That creepy old man is so dead. Where is he? I'm gonna kill him. You are? Janitor! Look at her face! <laughs> oh my god, what's going on here, little girl? How can your janitor help you? You killed my dog! What breed was it? The meat is quite tasty. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you with my bare hands, come here! Wow, you're faster than I thought. Ow! Hey, stop. Okay, I get it. I'll put all the pieces of your dog back. My mop! I need that! What? How is he going to impale her if he doesn't have his mop? My... my ear! You bit off my ear! That's not all you're about to lose. What? Ah! Oh, what? She decapitated the janitor! She's a woman of her word. I wasn't expecting to find out what happened to my dog today. I'm sorry for dragging you into this, but you have exceeded my expectations as a boyfriend. That was pretty messed up. I know, but I'll make it up to you. Here, you can have this flower. It's pretty like me. Uh, thanks? I could have gotten the flower like that? I didn't even need to screw with Lily. So there's two different ways of finishing that quest. I would have never guessed. I can tell by that look in your eyes that you think you deserve a little more. Here's a special Monster Monk card. You really are the best boyfriend I've ever had. Thanks. This has been a fun recess. Yeah, just biting the ear and the head off a janitor. Super fun. I'll see you at the show and tell. Uh, I just know you'll have something good to show now. Right. I need to show her flower, right? Because if I don't, she'll kill me. All right, um, you have a card for sale. Let's just double check to see. Oh, uh, yeah, he, he doesn't want to sell me anything right now. I don't really blame him. I hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get together for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? I can only imagine what Cindy's going to show. She still has the freaking janitor's head and she's covered in blood. Miss Applegate, just stone faced. Has no idea. Okay, I'll show off the flower. A flower? That's pretty boring. What's there to even tell about? It is not boring. I gave him that because he's a, been a good boyfriend all day. You don't question her. No, it's definitely wimpy. I'm probably going to kick his butt for being so whipped. Don't you dare, Bugs. Don't screw with her, Bugs. She'll bite your head off. Literally. <laughs> no one is allowed to kick my boyfriend's butt except for me. We'll see about that. Ow, 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 ow. Please, can somebody... Ms. Applegate, can you do anything? Oh my God, Ms. Applegate, stop him. I would, 
But damn if I don't love a good kitty fight. This isn't this isn't a kitty fight. This is a kitty murder. He's stop he's stomping my head in. Really? Don't show the flower if you're gonna get beat up for it. So what? If I'm gonna get beat up for it anyway. Oh, did I just oh I thought I hit return home. That would have sucked. Okay, so I'll show something else. Screw it. Um here's a monster monkey that I got. Is that okay? Now is Cindy gonna kill me because I didn't show it? I thought that's how it worked. Maybe not. Let me, uh, oh, she's she's gonna take the head home with her, maybe. Please don't kill me. How dare you? What'd I do? Really? You have the gall to stand up there as if you have no idea what you did wrong back there? I honestly have no idea. The flower, my special flower, the one I gave you for being the best boyfriend I ever had. What about it? You didn't show it during show and tell. If it means that so, I'm just going to take it back. Okay, sure, just, just have it. Oh, okay, good. I got it with the card. The oh fuck a card. I wanna try to get that $12 card from Monty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 10 bucks. We have to give five to Bugs, so we have five left. If I sell the breathalyzer and the pills, then I should be able to have enough. We just need to make sure that Cindy can get us into the hallway so that we can get either the one in the grate or the janitor's closet. And then we'll get the one from Monty at the end of the day. And we should be pretty well off. I think that'll be good for an episode. There are just so many different layers to this game that when you're trying to do a bunch of different things at once, you need to plan a little bit before you speak. So I went and actually did play house with Cindy so that I got the breathalyzer. We can sell the breathalyzer, we can sell the pills, and then I should be able to buy the super expensive card at the end of the day, I hope, right? Four dollars, okay, we got 13.25, that's what I need. So now, Cindy should be able to get me into the hallway during lunch, and we'll have the choice of either getting the card in the vent or the card in the janitor's closet. I don't know which one I've gotten in the past. Hopefully I don't screw this up. Oh no, I have three decisions. I can get the card in the vent, the card in the janitor's closet, or I can take the bucket, because people were telling me that I can actually pour the bucket on Cindy. I don't know if that would get me a card or not, but I kinda wanna do that. It's very fitting. This is gonna be the Cindy is crazy episode because she bit the janitor's head off and now we're gonna make her do a full-blown carry, right? I can't go in there, so we're gonna sell, I can't sell my apple either. Okay, screw it, we'll go in here. You're gonna send me out to lunch, okay? So we're outside. How much did you want for that card again? Can I buy it right now? I wanna buy something. Uh, Monster Mon card. 1250, I have exactly 1250, yes. Okay, we got it. Now, we should be able to go through with the plan, right? Well, what did you get? This bucket filled with blood, oh my god. It's perfect. That is so disgusting, whose blood is it? Never mind, I don't wanna know, me neither. You're the best, climb up there and I'll call her over. Okay, so we're gonna get into position. Hey, Lily, come over here, I wanna show you something. Why can't you just leave me alone, Cindy? I'm so sick of you harassing me. I'm not gonna harass you. We could be friends, just come over here. Fine, what is it? Now I can dump it on you, or I can dump it on you. Oh, Wh what? No, 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 no! No! What's going on? Cindy, come back here. Whoops, how is this gonna get me a Monster Mon card? I just killed Cindy. Don't go running into the street. You'll get hit by uh, I keep telling the principal we need to put up a fence there, sheesh. Okay, children, there's been an accident that I don't want to get blamed for. We're going to cut recess a little short today. Everyone head inside. Oh man, come on down there. I'd like to have a little chat with you before we go back inside. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't my fault. It was only a little bit, it was like 50% my fault. Okay, what do you want, Applegate? Okay, thank you so much for doing that. Thanking me for killing Cindy. Oh yes, indeedy I am. Do you know how long I wanted that little snot dead? I tried poisoning her once, but apparently poison isn't vegan enough for her. She doesn't know what vegan means. I know, that girl could only be dumber if her parents were siblings. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Haha, uh, yeah. Uh, I want you to have this gold star for doing the world a favor. Just don't tell anyone how you got it. Okay, so maybe I could have gotten the gold star 
for the assassination, like, kill the whole class episode that way. Weird. Also, as a special treat, since there was blood involved and I got to watch, here's a Monster Mon card. I was gonna say, you're a messed up lady, but that's messed up, but thank you. You're welcome. Now let's head back inside for show and tell. Okay, so we did get two cards. There's still one in the janitor's closet. There's still one in the grates. There's still plenty more to find, but I'll have to save that for another episode, I think. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Kindergarten, guys. We have 11 cards, not bad. As like I said, I didn't expect to be able to find all of them in one episode. We might not even be able to find all of them next episode, but I'm happy that they're more complicated than I thought. It's like I said, I expected that they were just gonna be littered across the map, you would pick them up, and it wouldn't be very entertaining to do or to watch. It would just be monotonous, but the fact that there are a bunch of messed up side quests and alternate endings and little stories, it's awesome. I can't wait to play more Kindergarten. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.